Well, it looks like out of nowhere, Rockstar has announced the next update to GTA Online. San Andreas Mercenaries. And nothing gets you more excited, especially if you like flying and you're a pilot and you want a new fighter jet, than seeing a new fighter jet in the thumbnail, the, the image that I'm showing you right now. By the way, this article from Rockstar Games, link below in the description section. Riley is going to be very, very happy about this. I think it's an F-35. <laughs> I could be wrong, but it looks like an F-35, at least based off an F-35. So that means possibly veto capabilities, maybe like it's an improved version of the uh, Hydra. I guess. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out on June 13th. And I guess I'll be up early in the morning, June 13th, to check out this update. GT Online, San Andreas Mercenaries, coming June 13th. Join Renegade Outfit to take down Meriwether and other dangerous adversaries in the next explosive GTA Online update. So, yeah, once again, it's Meriwether. <laughs> what a surprise. It's no secret Meriwether are as corrupt as everyone else in town, but now there's talk on the street that these shady contract killers are scaling up and squeezing out any rogue competition across southern San Andreas. For freelance professionals in the criminal underground, this could be the last straw. It's time to hit them where it hurts. For the record, at the end of GTA 5, which takes place in 2013, and by the way, uh, GTA Online is present day now, 2023, 10 years later, Meriwether was supposed to leave Southern San Andreas by the end of GTA 5, but I guess they got to come back for reasons. Take flight alongside a team of elite pilots, ex-military operators, to do battle against the monolith forces of San Andreas, the largest private military in GT Online, San Andreas Mercenaries, action-packed new updates spanning the streets, seas, and skies on June 13th. So they do mention seas and skies, which is good, because we wanted more aircraft, like more fighter jets, attack helicopters, and we also would like to see more of a focus on the sea, in GT Online, especially since the ocean makes up the largest portion of the map, which is mostly unused. Expert aircraft mechanic and ace pilot Charlie Reed is putting together a squadron of proficient aviators for Guns for Hire, known only as the Los Santos Angels, to take on a new lucrative private work, stealing sensitive data from server farms, conducting raids, dropping explosive payloads on high-value targets across the state. So I think this is the Lexington. It's basically the same aircraft carrier that's been in GT Online since the heist update back in 2015. I'm guessing somewhere on along the way, Meriwether bought the aircraft carrier. I guess that would make sense if uh, Meriwether is going to be the main antagonist of this update. Of course, they're usually the antagonist of, of a lot of uh, the heists and missions in GTA Online. So what else is new? With Charlie's help, the Mammoth Avenger will become an enhanced aerial command center equipped with new operations terminal and weapon system upgrade. So they're upgrading the Avenger. I, I guess they're trying to justify the uh, facility, but this is supposed to be focused on the hangar. And the, air, the Avenger goes in the, the facility, not the hangar. Okay. Plus, you'll embark on new ventures running valuable contraband on the ground as well as come across spontaneous opportunities to liberate cash and commodities from lucrative roving targets. Both new and experienced smugglers will also benefit from a range of upgrades for the Avenger and Hangar owners, including the ability to store and customize your Avenger for your Hangar. But why, Rockstar? Why do we have to put the Avenger in the Hangar when we already have the facility to put the Avenger in? That doesn't really make sense. But yeah, you can put your Avenger in the hangar, or you can buy a second Avenger, or even store and access your Avenger without owning a hangar or facility property. So you don't even need a hangar or facility to have an Avenger, but I'm sure you need one or the other in order to uh, customize it. Get ready, gear up your team, prep your hangar facility, set up your Avenger, and sharpen your smuggler skills and set for the battle ahead. I hope that Rockstars also listened to a lot of us out there including Riley, Gillymaster, a few others as well, asking for more hangar space or the ability to own up to two hangars, like one in LSIA as well as one in Fort Z, because we definitely would like to have double hangar space, especially since we're getting a new fighter jet and we're going to have the ability to add a version of the Avenger in our hangar. Like right now, it's, it's kind of limited for a lot of the pilots in GT Online, so some more hangar space would be nice, Rockstar.
So it looks like a, another new vehicle going to be added to the game. Don't know if it's going to be day one or dripped out through the summer 2023 uh, drip apocalypse, but we'll just have to wait and see. And probably some new clothing cosmetics as well. I don't know if there's a new weapon here. A grenade, uh, some rifles. I, this might be new. I could be wrong, but I think that's just a typical, what, AK-47. We already have that in the game, but this looks interesting. With even more in next action-packed update to GT Online, including new random events, brand new tactical SMG. Okay, so yes, there is a brand new SMG coming, the tactical SMG. Perfect for firing while driving, daily time trials, much more. Sky's the limit this summer, plus look out for more ongoing improvements to the entire GT Online experience, with even more player-requested improvements on the way, with the update including... Calling Morse Mutual Insurance, you'll be able to claim all destroyed vehicles at once. That's definitely something a lot of us have been wanting for a while now because if you're in a public lobby, your vehicles are constantly getting destroyed by other players and it's just annoying to like claim one vehicle at a time. So that would be awesome if we could just claim them all, you know, whether it's like two vehicles or 10 vehicles. An alternative sprint control option, hold a sprint will be added to the settings menu. Okay, cool. Custom description tags for garages to help quickly locate your favorite rides. I, I kind of like that. Willard, Adora, and Albany Classic Broadway will become eligible for taxi work while using the taxi liveries. This is something that should have been a thing with uh, the Drug Wars Part 2. When they introduced the taxi work, they should have made it automatic that you could use the Eudora and the Classic Broadway once you got the taxi, taxi liveries, 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 whatever, but I'm glad that they, they did that for the uh, taxi work. Updates to the crater to incorporate additional props, weather options, including snow. Okay, that's interesting. So you won't have to simply wait till the holiday season in order to enjoy the snow in GT Online. You can actually make modes based around snow. So if you want to have like a snow map for like death matches or LTSs, survivals, even uh, racing. I know racing in GT Online is probably not a good idea with the snow, but looks like you'll be able to add snow to uh, the crater mode. So this looks like a new gauntlet. Looks pretty cool. Actually, it looks like an agency gauntlet because you have the agency armor. So a, a brand new agency vehicle, a muscle car, a gauntlet. Not bad. I like it. These and many experience improvements inspire direct feedback from the community, like uh, easy access snacks right from the weapon wheel, the ability to launch cell missions and invite-only sessions, are top of the numerous enhancements made since the launch of GT Online on PS5 and Xbox Series X and S, which include ray and trace, reflections, introduction of career builder, making it easier to rise through the criminal ranks, along with roving, gun van, 50 car multi-floor garage, new license plate creator, taxi work, and much more. GTA Online San Andreas Mercenaries will be available to all GTA Online players on PS5, PS4, Xbox Series XS, Xbox One, and PC on June 13. And yes, I'll get up early in the morning to check out the Mercenaries update. Stay tuned for additional info to be revealed about this summer's update, including details on new gameplay, vehicles, activities, special upcoming weekly events, celebrations, and more. So the big thing a lot of people are going to be excited about, especially the, the pilots in the game, is the fact that we're getting at least one brand new fighter jet, which obviously based off of the F-35. And I'm guessing this version of the F-35 will be a veto variant and probably just an improved version of the Hydra. And a while back, they did talk about doing some rebalancing to certain aircraft in the game, most likely the laser and the Hydra. So those two fighter jets could very well be getting nerfed, at least when it comes to the uh, cannons. So look for that to happen with the update. I would like a full-fledged rebalance of uh, PvP vehicles, not just with the aircrafts. And I would like to see the orbital cannon scrapped, but I doubt that's going to happen. So we finally have some information about the uh, summer update. It's coming earlier than usual, June 13th with San Andreas Mercenaries. It seems like a pretty decent update. I think it's going to be a lot more well-received than uh, Drug Wars was, especially by the uh, pilots and those of us that like flying around in the game that have been craving a brand new fighter jet, just like Riley. And once she wakes up, I'm sure she'll be excited to hear the news. And who knows, maybe she'll make her own video about what she hopes this fighter jet might be able to do in GTA Online. So if there's any more information about uh, the San Andreas Mercenaries update, 
I will cover it for you. And I will also be getting up early in the morning, Tuesday, June 13th, to stream San Andreas Mercenaries. Coming across all platforms in GTA Online. Hopefully it's a decent update, and hopefully we end up also getting more hangar space, or at the very least the ability to own two hangars instead of just one, especially since we're going to be able to get a new fighter jet and maybe even some other aircraft, hopefully, as well as the ability to purchase and store the Avenger in the hangar, even though we can already do that in the facility. But okay, Rockstar. Your thoughts, views, and opinions, as always, welcome below in the comments section.